In terms of Pompe disease, um, a lot of people feel that the work is finished because we have developed uh, or we have an approved treatment. I really have to say that um, keeping yourself humble and able to listen to the patients and um, hear what the challenges still are, are critical to allow for uh, future discovery and to really allow uh, the patients to have the maximum benefit. So an enzyme replacement therapy, using Pompe as an example, is just one part of the entire um, equation. We have to treat these patients as a whole. Um, it has to be a multidiscipline approach to care. Um, these conditions are all multi-systemic. Um, and so the enzyme replacement therapy definitely is providing what the body is missing. But what the body also needs is very good physical therapy, very good occupational therapy, speech therapy, an excellent pulmonologist, um, a cardiologist, a muscular ske uh, skeletal specialist, etc. So a very good dietitian, someone who can help with exercise therapy, what's too much, what's too little. And I think we sometimes tend to forget those aspects. So that's one part of the immediate care of um, our patients with rare diseases, is taking a multi-systemic approach and constantly listening. I can give you an example for even Pompeii. You know, we focus so much on the musculoskeletal issues that I think we forget to ask certain questions. And I think I can confidently say this today because we've published the work is, as we started asking what else is your challenge, um, I had some of the females tell me of issues that they had in terms of incontinence. You know, things that they are kind of shy, um, almost embarrassed to talk about. But if you build that rapport with your patients, they're able to communicate this with you. And I soon learned that this is a huge part um, of the problem that they face which may be addressed by enzyme therapy, but we never found a way to ask the question, so how can you get an answer? So today we do build that into questionnaires and we do find out that that is one of the things that does improve on therapy. Having said that, there are still many outstanding issues. Um, are we delivering the enzyme sufficiently well to the target tissue, which is you know, the lysosome in muscle, so that when I say muscle, I mean cardiac, skeletal, smooth muscle, sphincters, etc. And I think the answer is yes in some situations and no in a lot, or yes for a certain period of time, but then as the individual grows or as the uh, needs increase, we're not able to do enough. So I think what was approved as a standard dose of 20 milligrams per kilogram every two weeks and as part of the FDA package insert. And again, I speak with Pompey as an example. One glove does not fit all, and today we're realizing that a much higher dose is required for many of these patients uh, to have the continued impact of therapy. So if you see where I'm going with this, is that this is a first generation of treatment that was developed. It's been a huge success, it's life-saving, but it's not the answer, not the complete answer. So with that, we've got to go for the next generation of treatment, which is currently underway with um, both Genzyme, Amicus, um, Valerian Therapeutics is also you know, working on a next generation therapy for Pompe disease. But then the final goal is uh, gene replacement therapy, and you know, that is being initiated for many of the rare diseases. So although it appears that I'm shooting for the stars, uh, I think this has all become a reality and many of the things that I'm speaking about or I have talked about um, are actually in clinical trials or in preclinical stages. And so I think in the next decade, we will have the next generation enzyme therapy, the systematic approach to care beyond just looking at skeletal or cardiac muscle, as I said, the multi-systemic approach to care, to the development of guidelines to help us further with what is an appropriate dose, to you know what our ultimate mission is um, of gene replacement or a therapy that you know doesn't have to be repeated every week or every two weeks, 
uh, so that we can enhance the quality of life of our patients.